Wow, you look like you could teach Doctor Strange a thing or five. You look like a pillowcase and there weren't enough feathers. And here we got the wrong direction. <laughs> Hello. Thank you for coming to the first official super chill fit roast cookout chill kickback. Cyberbullying. I asked you guys to submit your fits and thousands of you did. And I don't know what that's about because I told all of you guys that I was going to roast your fits. So I don't know if you guys like me that much or if it's just humiliation fetish. I don't know, man. Either way, uh, this is going to be fun. So don't take whatever I say too much to heart because at the end of the day, it is my onion. And if you want to take the opinion of a guy wearing Christmas socks and Vans in the morning seriously, well, that's your choice. I'm not the one with a humiliation king. All right, so now I know you guys are hungry. So we gotta start cooking. We gotta start putting stuff on the grill. And there are a lot of you. So there's a lot of food to go around. We eating tonight, oh my God. So yeah, let's go. Starting off with fit number one, we got Lewis Kruger. Here we go, we're, we're starting off pretty creative over here, man. This is actually pretty cool. And you didn't tell me where you got the garments. So I'm just gonna assume that you dumped yourself in Elmer's glue and then found the nearest Levi's outlet and went dumpster diving. This one's pretty cool too. You got some cool graphic denim. This picture looks like it smells like a Goodwill. Up next, we got Jackson Foltz rocking the Supreme hat with the phone to match. Bape shirt, no legs. What's that in the back? Hey man, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, is that a Supreme sticker on your Hydro Flask? Up next, we got Jethro Nepomucino. Oh, this is just gonna be a video of me butchering names for however long. J.W. Anderson trench coat. Shirt is thrifted. The jeans are Calvin Klein 205 West 39th and Doc Martens. Wow, you look like you could teach Doctor Strange a thing or five. This is pretty cool, dude. Honestly, you rock this. You pull this off. I would hate to be the guy standing behind you in the wind, though. Like, he looks really cool and fresh here, you know? Very cinematic. But the guy behind him is probably like... <coughs> Next, we got Thule Nirot. Sorry if I butcher that. Coming all the way from Estonia. Shouts out to all my Estonians. And this is a nice one. You know, you got an artsy, cool, like, navy blue, loose, loose-fitting shirt. Yellow pants to show you're kind of... You're creative, but you're easy going. You're easy going. You know, you're probably playing that ukulele on the wall. But then at night, guys call you goddess. You know what I mean? Like the first one, you'll probably catch her like an Arden Fleer or a cool art show. And then the second one, she's a problem for the government. You love to see it. Good fits, Thule. So to me, what makes a good outfit is cohesion and personality. And then in turn, the opposite of what makes a bad outfit is when it's incohesive and generic. And so before the trauma turns into baggage, we have to solve the problem at the source, which is when you buy the stuff. It's like a bad childhood experience that turns into lifelong problems. So to help you out with that, I'm gonna introduce the sponsor of this video, Shop Tagger, for helping you solve your problem at the source when you're shopping. But it's really the best way you can save money online shopping and make sure your closet is cohesive before even having to make a purchase. But once Shop Tagger is installed and you're shopping, just hit this blue boy right here in the corner, whatever store you're at, and bam, you'll get this drop down menu where you can save an item in a specific size that you want or when a price changes. I usually just do it any change because my standards are low. Or my favorite part, the list feature where you can build a virtual closet to see how the items that you're interested in pair up with each other without having to waste money on else. Like I said, it's trial and error. But in this case, the error is really just the three seconds you wasted saving the item instead of buying it where it's $50, two to three business days and a couple disappointed mirror looks. And it even works for stuff like not related to fashion. Like I wanted these speakers on Amazon, but they were sold out at the time. So then I saved them and then a week later shop sent me a notification and I ended up getting them on a restock and they were on sale even. So I ended up saving money anyways. So at this point, I kind of just save anything that's sold out. Oh, what was that noise? Is that my mom texting me back? No, Shop Tiger will send you an email or push notification on your phone when an item either restocks or goes down in price so you don't have FOMO. And also, Shop Tiger will search the web for coupons on checkout automatically so double no FOMO. And on top of that, they'll be rolling out an integrated cash back feature soon so even more free money 
just stop asking questions on it. Just be grateful about the free stuff. And when the IRS pulls up, just save that problem for later, as you'll be doing when you save the clothes for later. But all you got to do is click the link in the description, sign up, install the web extension, and bam, you're good to go. So go sign up now. Everything is in the description. I've been using them for almost two years now before even working with them. So I can co-sign on this to save you money harder than I can with prayer. And my name is Christian. Juan Tanker, coming all the way from Indonesia. And a capital knit sweater, some Giam basket, chains from Amazon, and the rest is from Uniqlo. I like using Uniqlo as a scapegoat for filler. I think we can all agree. But this is very balanced. The clothes look good on you. And um, I kind of like this fit. I kind of like this outfit. Up next, we got Casper from Poland, representing Europe. Let's go. First outfit, we got all black and then a multicolored Super Mario Brothers denim jet. Wow, that's actually really cool. Um, like the all black to be like, I'm I'm a serious man. Take me seriously. But then the the Mario Brothers denim jacket to show that, hey, I'm also a gamer. I'm also Getting a gamer. Fucking everything says what no idea. You know, wow, this is pretty cool. All black, rocking the chains, the silverware, and wow. Huh? What happened? And we're playing PUBG. Up next, we got Adrian from Singapore. Damn, we're out here, huh? We're really out here, around the world. Global cyberbullying. Let's go. Very monochrome fit. You know, like black and silver. Classic. E-boy color scheme and accessory play. And a uh, very well taken picture. We got a cool tonal gray outfit looking like a communist Magnus Ronning. And overall chill, chill ensemble we got here. I really like that Palm Angels hoodie. Here we got Antony Fronia. Very cool. We got a Y3 jacket with some olive cargos and some black combat boots. Super chill and simple. Looking like if Nick from Jimmy Neutron became a Bond villain. I like it. I like the progression. Here we got Justin Drumgo. I save this because I think the tote makes this outfit like this, you should you should rock the tote for the rest of your life because you look really good. We got Israel Salazar rocking the Gianni Versace, 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 Gianni Versace. Next we got Alex Fardon. He says, "Do your worst." You look like you just told a bad joke and it didn't land. He's like, "Come on." Frederick Eden in the super all white tonal off tones. We got some eggshell in there and uh, he's sitting down on the ground. You look like a pillowcase and there weren't enough feathers, but I like it. I usually don't like all white, but I think you look pretty good. Other than the fact that your ass is probably gonna be black. Here we got Moose Potato and he says the off whites are fake, but I really hope the pants are fake too. For once, the replicas aren't the real problem here. And here we got the wrong direction. <laughs> Kokoro Frost coming out of New Zealand. Rate the lads fits. You guys look like extras on the Lilo and Stitch animated movie. I hope that glass has alcohol in it because you're gonna need it to process what you look like in the mirror later. I do mess with the Birkenstocks though. So shout out to the squad. Here we got, all right, so he added a pronunciation. So we're gonna read it together. Sesso, ses, Okay, Ses, oh dude, the pronunciation guide is harder than the name, so I'm just gonna butcher the name. Here we got Sean Green, um, all the way from Norway. Wow, we are really out here, guys. We're really out here. Standing on the chair. Oh yeah, no, I saved this because I actually did really like this outfit. I think the loafers really make it. Why you're standing on the chair? I don't know. And according to this email, I don't know a lot of things because am I just dumb or is that pronunciation guide harder than just guessing? Because I feel like, if I were to just throw different guesses at your name, I would get it faster than trying to decipher that. Loose fitting trousers, pretty loose fitting net sweater with a collar going in between. And overall, very cool fit. Very cool fit. Up next, we got Uni Hunti, Hunt maybe? Wearing a Nike ACG hoodie that he stole from his dad. Yo, you must have a cool dad. My dad doesn't wear Nike ACG. My dad dresses like the wrong direction. That's what my dad looks like. Just, just imagine me, but older wearing that. No way that guy has a Nike ACG hoodie. Napa Rain Dew Jacket, White Porcelain Cargo Pants, Air Jordan 1 Origin Story, and Jid Never Story Bandana. Shouts out to Jid. And it seems like you're going thrifting, but you're dressed like you're on an Arctic expedition. Those pants are really cool. You could probably steal a lot of things from your dad with all those pockets. Here we have Mango with a cool military Earth Tony outfit going. We got an Olive Bomber, a sand shirt, some Stone Island Cargos. These 
pretty cool, pretty cool. What is this pose though? I know it's a military themed outfit, but why are you taking cover? Here we got Torben Lass from Germany. I just saved this because the energy is, there's some, there's some crazy energy in this outfit. I don't know, it's the pose, it's the pose. There's just some energy. It's just threatening. Cool tonal gray outfit, man. Here we got Branson White. Um, I saved this because it said Heiko mode. Heiko mode? Heiko mode, man. Heiko. Here's Zach Turner coming out here. Very good looking young man. Seems to be liking this tonal theme going on. I think the second outfit would look cool if the jeans were not ripped because there's just a lot going on with the jacket. You look like if Justin Bieber had no purpose. And instead of having that yummy, yummy, it was okay, okay. Here we got Dylan Doppelmeyer. Okay, we got some wholesome core going on. Dude, staple wholesome core outfit. Champion hoodie, Vans, cuffed jeans. Ladies, this is a man you want. You don't want none of this. You want the, you want the wholesome guys. This guy probably gets good grades, listens to his parents, pays his taxes, goes to work on time. He probably doesn't even do drugs. We got Leo Barrera. We're in a pair of thrifted Gap, some Dickies, and a pair of Converse. He's wearing a pair of Converse. It says right there in the email, those are a pair of Converse. Really nice fit. I really like where it's taken to. I don't know why, it just does a lot for the fit. But you really do a good job at styling those Converse. It's a really nice pair of Converse, man. Are those even real? They look fake. Those are like some fake Converse or whatever. Here we got Yuki Kyoka. Um, looking very Yoji, undercover-y. I like it. Cool drapey vibes. And we got a bunch of stickers on this picture. But I don't know about you guys, but I can kind of, if I zoom in. Really? You couldn't have put the 7-Eleven sticker on your phone, man? Do you even know what the heart means? Anyways. Overall, I really like this outfit. I think it works well. Is there another CDG sticker at the bottom? Oh my god. Okay, this next one's from Justin Henry. I'll put the message up on the screen if you guys want to pause and read it. His friend passed away, so he sent me pictures of his friend to roast. And he said that him and the boys would like it if I roasted him. But I would feel kind of weird roasting someone that passed. So I'm gonna do it. Boom. First pick, he's wearing a pair of Flyknit racers with some rolled up joggers. Um, I don't know where you're looking, but it's a lot better than what I'm looking at with this outfit. And honestly, you must have been a really cool guy if your friends were down to tolerate someone that puts stickers on their wall and sends Snapchats like these. Rest in peace, Brian Conklin. Hope the boys enjoyed that. Hope you have all the Yeezys you want up there in heaven. We got Sven Troutman who looks like a problem for the government. Um, wearing a bunch of MXDVS. Do you have knee pads and elbow pads and knuckle gloves? What are you dressed up to do? Go to the movies? Are you in the movie? All right, here we go. She didn't add a name, but I kind of like this outfit. Overall darker vibe with the darker colors on the shirt too, even though it's patterned and multicolored, that they seem to be a bit muted. So I think it really works out here. And on the second one, you look like if number three from Kids Next Door had problems. And up next, we got Teresa Fong, who is actually number three. And very warm and cozy vibes here. Here we got Richie Frazier coming in. We got an ensemble of cool fits. Honestly, these are all really good. We got the vest with the white t-shirt, the black cargos, and a pair of the game royals. We got the all black tonal. All these photos were taken on the street. So yeah, this is streetwear to the T. Good stuff, man. Up next, we got Sineda Yalaju. I'm sorry if I butchered that. Pronouns are she, her. So her outfit here is, we got an oversized white graphic shirt with some distressed jeans and some docks. And it's cool, I like it. I might've picked different socks, but that's just me. Also, thank you for giving me your pronouns. I've been recently educating myself on the meaning of everyone's different pronouns. And then there's two things you don't wanna do in the world. One is evade your taxes and two is misuse people's pronouns personally my pronouns are we damn boys you can call me either one and we got elias gotland gotland with a cool multi-colored knitted sweater multi-colored multi-patterned knitted sweater we're out here double time tucked in her black pants and some docks um thank you for adhering to the cdc regulations of wearing a mask but cool fit i like the color selection on the sweater and then the all black to contrast it overall really nice here we got ewan whitcomb Yuan, 
Whitcomb uh, with some overalls and some black combat boots with the yellow laces. I like the yellow laces. You look like if Ron Weasley did not get into Hogwarts and then instead enrolled into a community college for a liberal arts degree that he no longer uses, so he sends me these outfits to feel better about himself. Rustic tones, I kind of like this. It's very uh, industrial looking, and this is a very well taken photo too. Thank you, Ron. Here we got David Edwards, who progressively becomes a bigger and bigger issue for the government. Dude, you and Elbow Pads guy need to get together and just cause havoc for whatever governmental system you guys are a part of. We're an all holy grail. Man, he dresses, you dress with purpose. Shouts out to you, man. I dress, I wear green Christmas socks that I got from my ex-girlfriend's friends. Here we got Isaac, who is, Let's zoom in on that. Oh, it's me. It was me the whole time. Ah, very simple fit. Um, that's a big hood. It's either you have a really long face or that's a big hood. Here we got Nikki CH who <laughs> has played too much Animal Crossing and is now the animal. Also, I can't tell if you're really short or if you're massive. And I would have, I, I want to go with the latter. I'm just going to say that that tree is normal size. It's two stories and you're just really tall. And that water pail has enough water to hydrate a small country. Here we got Hannah Buckland, streetwear. <laughs> we got some streetwear, guys. Um, really like the pants here and the shirt. Vibing on the street against the wall. We're vibing worldwide, baby. I like the work with black and white on the first fit and the contrasting primary colors on the second. So nothing bad to say here. Solid street wear, street wear. And here we got Cassie Norman saying, in this world you drip or drown and I'm drowning. Christian, please help me right now. I feel like I'm Leonardo DiCaprio in Titanic. I'm drowning while all of the rich hot people drip. If you were Rose, would you let me on your door? And honestly, dude, no, but thank you for tuning into the first ever Cyber Bully Cookout Chill Kickback Fit Roast. Okay, that's what I'm calling it. The Cyber Bully Chick, the Cyber Bully Chill Kickback Fit Roast. That's what it's called. You can catch me on Instagram at ChristianVY or on Twitter at JK Wiling. And also thank you to Shop Tacker for sponsoring this barbecue. Um, I've been working with these guys for a while, so they've been holding down the channel for a minute now. Um, 100% the best tool that you can have when you're online shopping and it's free, so I don't see why you wouldn't do it. But other than that, thank you for tuning in. I might do another one in the future or I might not. If this looks like butt, then probably not. But if you guys like this, then I don't mind cyberbullying. It's fun. Um, I'm not the one getting hurt because I'm hurt inside. So thank you for watching.